We're Carl's Jr. We're gonna try the Star Burger. Smells yummy. Got the goods. Let's see how this is. Got napkins, a Carl's Jr.'s vegan burger, French fries. I like to dip them like that. Let's give it a shot. Lettuce is a little limp, but it's not bad. I'm not crazy about the bun. And is this vegan cheese? Maybe not. Who's supposed to ask for no cheese? Oops. Being a vegan isn't about being perfect. Veganism is a stand against cruelty. And a lifestyle, a delicious one. I'd get that again if I was with some friends on a road trip and they wanted to pull over for some fast food. I would vote for Carl's Jr. As I always say, it's a huge movement and thank you Carl's for joining it. So I woke up this morning and I was thinking to myself, you know, it's great that places like Carl's Jr. have vegan options for people who are plant-based. It was tasty, but I gotta say one thing. It didn't seem that fresh. The lettuce was kind of wilted and the tomato was kind of wilty. I really wanted to like it, I think, you know, because I was so happy that they offered it. But it had cheese and mayo on it. So I would advise Carl's to ask your customers if they order a plant-based burger, if they want cheese and mayonnaise on it, and not to just assume that they do, because most of us do not. And another thing that kind of stuck in my craw was the fact that everybody else got out of there for $7, it seems, and my burger cost me $12.38. Why is my meal twice as expensive to produce as meat meal. A lot of us vegans feel gouged when we're going to buy our products. And because we know a plant-based revolution is coming, we expect that volume should reduce prices very significantly. So again, thank you very much for offering plant-based products. Keep it up. I think there's a couple things that you can work on. One is the quality and the freshness and the price. Oh,